In this video, I'll be showing how to remove a chuck from a DeWalt drill, model DCD-796. From what I've seen, DCDs have the same thing in common, this type of chuck. So you can see here, after tightening this chuck up and getting the teeth to come out, I can just hold the exterior of the chuck and it continues to spin in my hand, which it shouldn't do, both when tightening and loosening. So this thing is shot. Uh, I'll just show an example of me using a drill bit for wood and just trying to go through this three-quarter wood. And this bit just keeps on spinning once it gets halfway through. The drill is in good shape, so I want to keep the drill. The chuck needs to be replaced though. What I'll use in this video is a couple different size screwdrivers, a mini cat claw, a large allen wrench, an adjustable wrench, a sledgehammer, and a few cheater bars. So normally there would be a set screw in these drills. You would take out a Phillips head flathead or hex. You remove that and then keep this drill setting on one on the, on the drill and then put an Allen wrench in here, tighten it up, set it on its side and hit it with a sledgehammer. However, these DCD models do not have a set screw. The chucks are set directly onto a shaft that just is pretty much like a, just a pin it's set on there. People have shown removing these chucks on the DCD drills by removing the entire housing, removing all the screws here, getting to this gear assembly to remove the chuck, and it's like a lot of work. So I want to try something different. I decided that I was going to just lift this chuck right out of the gearbox. I started by using a few small flathead screwdrivers and slowly went around the bottom of the chuck and used the housing of the drill as leverage. And I just went really slow, put a little bit of pressure, kept on working my way around because I didn't want to damage this housing. And you see right there, there's like a little bit of an indent. So I knew to kind of back off and not give it too much pressure. But the chuck did start to lift up. At one point, the flathead screwdrivers, the small ones there, were not able to lift the chuck up any longer. So I got a mini cat claw and a thicker flathead screwdriver. And I just continued the process. Just kind of, you know, taking my time, not trying to pry this up all at once, but just continue spinning around the chuck and prying up on all sides. And this thing started coming up a little, a little more quickly until finally it just popped right out of place. And there's a little spring here I just put to the side, make sure I didn't lose that. So you can see this chuck screwed right here on the shaft here, and the shaft has an orientation, one way that it can really fit into the gearbox not having to try to go through the process of heating up the uh, chuck, you know, and trying to use a torch. I've seen some videos like that. Also, I did try the hammer method with the Allen. I just felt like I was going to break the drill. I wanted to try something uh, a little less invasive. I am going to use the Allen key, and I'll just tighten this chuck up with the large Allen key. Because of the shape of the shaft, you have two flat sides, so I will use an adjustable wrench. I tried to use a quarter crescent, but it just didn't seem to really get on there like I'd like it. So this is under a lot of torque. And you can see here I tried to go by hand, but it wasn't going to do anything. So I got a couple cheetah bars. This red bar here is actually from a jack. I just slivered it over the Allen. And this is just from an old chain link I took out a while back. So righty tidy lefty loosey. This thing breaks loose with a little bit of force. And you can see right here this thing just screws right out. Looks like a spark plug. So there's no set screw, no way for you to remove a screw here. I guess people do hit on these things with the Allen wrench with the hammer, but I didn't want to mess up the drill. So I'll be replacing the old chuck with this new chuck. It was recommended on a lot of sites and threads people were talking about. It's a German company, and it looks pretty nice, and it feels really solid. So as you open this box, you'll get a little instruction manual. It kind of shows almost like I'm doing here, I think, but I don't speak the language. And you can just see the specs here on the side. And at the very end, that's a half inch thread. So I'll be using. So I'm just going to go reverse what I just did and put the shaft back on the back of the chuck, thread it in, and I'll get my Allen and my adjustable wrench back on there. And again, with the breaker bars, and I'm going to put a little bit of torque on this. Not, not too much, but enough to know I kind of feel I'm in, I'm in a good position. 
and righty tighty lefty loosey. I got the uh, spring back on the shaft before I set it in place. And then I just dropped the shaft into the gearbox and kind of twisted it and let it find its way into where it fit. There's still a little bit of a gap. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually tap this back into place. And uh, the camera's on the ground here, so it looks like it's really aggressive, but these are these are pretty light taps. I'm, doing. I'm not trying to hit it very, very hard. So you can see it kind of is pretty much sitting in there, and I'm just going to give it a few more taps just to make sure. And that thing is pretty much like it was before I took the old chuck off. And this chuck is solid. Again, it feels really nice. I don't think I'm going to have issues with this in the future. And I still got that little bit of play for the hammer drill action. So I'm going to go ahead and test this thing out. Make sure that it's all holding there. I've tried to hold it while it goes and burn up my hand. So this thing seems pretty solid. Put this thing wood bit on there and try to screw this through and just see how it is. Apparently this is a precision type of chuck from what I've read. I don't know, but all I know is it works really well. And it was fairly easy to uh, replace with the old chuck. Here's a, another demonstration just to show you that the uh, hammer drill is working as a concrete bed. And I'm going to go through this old red brick here. I was also getting caught up with my tap cons. It was really annoying. So, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe.